Hi, I'm Maddie, a founder and SEO content strategist. I was using Freedcamp and recently switched to Process Street. For more reviews like this, click below. So I've used tools like Freedcamp, like Process Street, and honestly other project management tools, which is what I would describe Freedcamp as being more so than Process Street, uh, essentially for just that, to use to manage different tasks in progress, um, especially on on a team setting. So working with other people versus just managing my own tasks for myself. Both of these tools are solutions that I've considered for creating a structure for a project management workflow. And ultimately, with one of them, I found some severe limitations. And with the other, I found a tool that I could use to build whatever I wanted to do. So Process Street is a really excellent tool for building out different workflows. And it's not limited to any one industry or type of work that you do. And, and that's honestly the beauty of that tool is that you can build it to be whatever you need for whatever workflow you have. For example, at my company, we use Process Street for our content production workflow. And so anybody who is involved with that, whether it's a writer or researcher or an editor, or somebody helping to promote the end content, they can all jump in exactly at the right time without getting confused by notifications about tasks that aren't yet due that they can't yet do. So really the benefit of using Process Street is it's it's a no-code tool, so you can you can build things without being a developer necessarily, but you can build workflows that work for your specific problems without being boxed in by the limitations of a platform that might have been built for a very specific use case. So Freedcamp is an excellent tool for projects with very straightforward needs. They are constantly innovating. I still, even though I don't use it anymore, I still get emails about all the updates they've made and it really does seem like they listen to their users. I think the limitation for me with Freedcamp is just that it's not as useful as Process Street for things like when you have to get into the weeds or you have a complicated workflow structure, but it is a great tool for a straightforward project management system. So getting started with either Freedcamp or Process Street, you really want to come in with some idea of what your workflow is already. It's not something that's going to help you reinvent the wheel necessarily, but it is something that can reinforce the goals that you have. E either one of these tools can support you depending on the nature of your workflow. And one thing that I can definitely say is that Process Street maybe has a little bit more guidance um, from the front end when you're just getting started in terms of a template library that they provide that you can kind of plug and play and customize. They also have a, a very excellent resource um, within their blog in terms of like how to set up different things or how to think about process management. And again, I think that's where the difference between these tools is. It's that Freedcamp is a project management tool at its heart and it does a good job of that. But Process Street is a process management tool. And so it's a little bit more complex. But because of that, they have anticipated that camp complexity and have created resources for people to hit the ground running. So when determining the ideal project management or process management tool for my company, um, there were a lot of things that that I've thought about as I've tried different things. I, th I think the first project management tool I ever used in tandem with people on my team was Todoist. And it was a great lightweight tool, but it just didn't have a lot of the extra features that something like Freedcamp or Process Street can provide in terms of just getting a little bit more granular with assignments and comments and um, supportive files and things like that. And so I think Freedcamp and Process Street both allow for that added level of complexity in terms of defining tasks and the specifics around them and who's assigned to them and when each piece is due. You can certainly break up tasks into subtasks and things like that or different 
aspects of the project. For, I mean, for example, you could use a Gantt chart on FreeCamp so that you can see where different people come in. I think the limitation for me with FreeCamp was I could never figure out how to get their notification settings to a place where it wasn't overwhelming. Um, I, I tried a million different things. They they even have different options within their settings to adjust so that notifications are only um, they only correspond to certain tasks or you know if you're called out with an at mention or things like that. But ultimately, I could not reconcile the like hundreds of notifications I would get a day for all the things that I was a part of as sort of the admin of my project management workspace. And um, I have found that Process Street, it does have a fair amount of notifications, but you can also easily manage them within their inbox feature when you log in. So you could actually totally ignore all the emails if you were to just use that instead. So I think, again, both of them have sort of all the things that you would need in order to get granular with project management assignments. For me, the main difference is that Process Street makes it easier for people to jump in at the right time and get notified at the right time versus, say, for example, somebody later in the process getting a notification about a task that isn't ready for them yet. And so, again, I think that's why Process Street is ultimately what I went with. It just it it was the least annoying in terms of notifications and the most just on track in terms of like when somebody needs to jump in to do their specific job.